Well, welcome to another Guns Contractors video. And I'm so lucky to be here at Baumer with iDig, uh, seeing all of the new products that they've got. And there's some real upgrades to the system that I currently run, the 2D Touch. We now have the 2D Connect system, but this is actually upgradable to 3D. So if, to be honest, this is probably the way I would now go look into the future, um, but of course wasn't available when I bought my system. Brilliant system the touch is, but some great new features uh, on this that I've got to show you because there's a few things, restrictions that I had with touch that now they've kind of solved really with the new Kinect system. So still working in 2D here, especially because we're indoors. Few features, firstly, screen is a slightly um, better definition screen and it's got a lot more uh, usability and features within that. Um, I have down here on my joystick, I've got a little quick button here and you can fit this anywhere. It doesn't have to be here. You can put it on your dozer blade, for example, but for now I've got it just mounted on my joystick and I can go into system, the basic settings. I've got this remote button. So what you can do with that, I'll show you, is set it up either for the boom sort of swing feature, which I'll show you in a second, is the ability to offset the boom now and work as accurately as you used to do. Um, but of course with the boom offset, which was a real thing I did 2D could not do before the touch system, um, connect can. I can also get it, so we've got a short press for my laser catch. So if I'm working with a laser and I'm trying to grade, I can just very, very quickly um, laser catch with the button. I don't have to go through the screen. It's just a quicker setting. I can also, the third option is have it for my zero. So if I'm maybe working like I do around a house where I don't tend to use the laser, don't need to, it doesn't need to be that accurate. Hold my bucket on a datum. Um, press my button, quick and easy to zero myself and carry on working. Bench off your own work, whatever you need to do. So that's great when you don't need to be quite so accurate. So we'll come out of there. That's one nice little feature they've done. Another great feature of the Connect system is the swing boom feature. That's the ability now to work with your boom offset to your cab, which was a, a bit of a drawback of the 2D system. It always assumed that 2D touch that your boom was sticking out in front of you at all times and if you ever cranked it over to work in a tight spot it, it just it was giving the wrong readings which it's it's a brilliant system but this is another level now um, they've with some clever trickery there's no sensors on the on the swing itself it uses the existing sensors on the boom um, with some very clever technology to know now where your position is. Now you have to set that initially with a, a bit of a, a left and a right, obviously calibrate it. But once you've done that, I can then use my button here to lock and unlock in a way or digitally my, my boom slew. So I've got a timer here where if I unlock this, that's now unlocked and you can see the position of my boom in relation to the machine. As I crank it over, I can work for five minutes like this before there's the potential for a little bit of drift and, and you would want to rebench yourself to keep your accuracy. However, you can lock yourself and then carry on working and that timer stops. So I'm working dynamically at the moment. I'm swinging round, I'm moving the machine. We're going over, you know, we're touching a datum um, and then we're moving around again and that's fine, but if I wanted to, I could crank it right over like this. I know I need to work like this for some time. I can then press my button and you see that gets locked and the timer then stops. And then I can work continuing on, no restriction to continue working in this, in this corner. Now, if I want to move my boom, you do have to remember that you can obviously still move your boom physically, but you need to tell iDig you've moved your boom. It's a bit like with the bucket scenario. If you don't tell it what bucket you've got on, it, you know, you get a mistake, right? But this was not possible before. And I know I'm on a level floor here, so it's difficult to, to understand, but we know that the cab sensor knows where the machine is. And it's, it's a great idea that you're able to work, especially with mini diggers, uh, with the boom offset, because I do that all the time on, on jobs, especially the small landscaping jobs. So that's a really good use of the button. Of course, I could use it for benching as we've discussed. But the other thing that's great about this new system uh, is the dynamic laser catch mode. So I've currently got my laser sat up over here behind me. And of course, we've got our sensor on the boom as we have on my 2D system that I run on my machine. But unlike my machine, this will now 
as I'm working, it'll find the laser as I'm pulling up and down and the dipper's working through that beam and it, and it instantly goes, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm good to go again. So no more waiting for three seconds when you move your machine and then your laser uh, has to settle and, and it registers it and then it says, okay, I can go to work. Now three, three seconds was, was good and it is good, but three seconds adds up through the day. So what I can do here is I can, I want to, I've moved my machine. I want to do a new laser catch. I'm now working, I'm pulling back. I've stopped my position and I'm now just moving the machine through its arm here. And already there you go, it's catched. There's no three seconds. It knows exactly where you're at. I can come back to my datum point here and we should be reading zero again. Well, one, I've got a flexible box. So you've got to give me a little bit of credit because it moves around. I'm trying to work with what I've got. But that is the real advantage here. Um, able to use the swing boom and the dynamic laser catch. It's just, it just makes things easier. It doesn't stop your workflow. And in any position that you're working, whether you've got your bucket cranked over, obviously this has got tilt sensors on it. We can work over like this. Uh, iDig has got your back and knows exactly where your machine is at. So yeah, it's a really, really good system. And I think it's something that I need to upgrade to myself. I could see myself using a lot of these features, just makes, makes life a little bit easier, but also the ability then to upgrade this to their project system where I can then draw real time from the cab of the excavator, very, very simple project. I could set myself out a V ditch, for example, a profile. I could do uh, a grade for a car park, some drainage maybe, um, ditch, that kind of thing. Um, it's a really, really simple to use system. And yeah, the, I love the upgradableness of this. As and when you need it, you can then decide, I need to go 3D and upgrade, which is a brilliant feature. It means your technology isn't going out of date. And yeah, it's still got all the great features of the 2D touch system that I enjoy on my current machine. So yeah, it's been brilliant to come out here to Bauma, uh, see and actually play with this on this little Wakanusen uh, EZ17. So yeah, it's been good fun. Um, thank you very much for watching. Any questions, send us over, but um, do check out iDig because it's been a great, really great uh, thing for my business. And yeah, I love uh, being able to showcase this new stuff to you all. Thanks.